who has very clear vision. Yes. He is clear about purpose and destiny, not just for himself, but a man who you marry has to be able to cultivate what is in and on you as well. Yes. So I can't have a man who is unclear about where he is going and who is intimidated by what and who I am. I need to know where we going, what we doing, what's the destination. I thrive when I know what's going on and I shouldn't have to ask you. I need you to lay out the plan for us. Take me on a drive. Huh? 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 Go huh? Ahead, go stand up. Wait go a minute. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Tell me, baby, this is what we get ready to do. This is the land that I desire to buy. These are the businesses that I desire to have. This is what I want. Make it clear. I thrive in clarity. The Bible says Does, uh, does that resonate with you? Cap. Does that, re- does that resonate? I, 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 um. This is 100%. So, this, it's interesting. I want, I want, as, as men, um, hearing that, I, I, I see the, um, the agreement, um, in the crowd, in the room. Um, how do you, how do men receive her message of what she desires in a man? Do you receive it well or not? They slide in the DMs. Right? What do you mean? Aren't, aren't dudes that are looking for women that are sure of themselves like that? Aren't they coming at her heart? Uh, not really. No. Um, <laughs> That's surprising. Really. I mean, I hear it. I respect it. I, I, I value it. And that's what she says she needs. And she has all right to say what she needs. And if you're not that guy, leave her alone. If you can, talk to her. Mm. But on the flip side, I'm just going to go biblical. Yeah, go for it. Go for all right. <laughs> Abraham. Leave your father's land. Where you going? I don't know. I come to my wife and say, hey, God told me, to, told us we got to leave here with all our safety, everything we know, all the familiarity is here. We got to just up and leave. Where we going? I don't know. That woman is not going to say, well, if God said, let's go. She was like, how you going to tell us to leave? She going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's, just, that's, just, that's why I said it feel good. You know what I'm saying? Right, it right, sounds good. Yeah, so this, what you got in the room this, is, once again, I, I promise I'm not trying to be offensive. You got a, you got a bunch of... <laughs> Black women in the room <laughs> who have been in toxic, unhealthy relationships, probably, which they chose to get in. Mm-hmm. They had one tie. They chose to get in these unhealthy relationships, and it didn't work like we knew it wasn't going to work. So now when you hear a woman saying, we want this, and we want that, we want this, it sounds good. Y'all going to scream and get that emotional feeling. Meanwhile, you going home to a sorry joker playing 2K <laughs> on the couch, <laughs> eating butter popcorn, ain't made in two days, and you ain't left. <laughs> Mm. You you got the choice. If you don't want to be with that kind of guy, you can leave. Why are you staying? Right. If this the kind of man you got, be patient and wait on the Lord instead of just settling and jumping into anything. Mm-hmm. So when I see these rooms and I see the rise and I see the hoopla and all that kind of stuff, I get it. I respect it. I understand. But 
It's a list that men might have to say, hey, this is what I want from a woman. How, can can no, I get some trust? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can I get some appreciation? Can right. I get some gratitude? Yeah. I don't need you to kiss my behind, but can I get a thank you sometimes? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Can could you, you cook not? No, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. certain yeah. stuff. Yeah. And there'd be a room for the girl. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. But we in the real world. The fact yeah. of the matter is, people have trauma, people have baggage, people have dirt, people got issues they're dealing with. And I, I kind of look at it like being, in, I was married at one time. Immature, didn't really know how it worked. It didn't work, and I now I look at it like marriage is almost like a smoothie. Like you get a smoothie when you first put all the ingredients in the blender, you gonna hear, <laughs> but eventually the more you spin that mug around, you know, say it's gonna smooth Come out. Come on, preach, yeah. man. You gotta, Come on, that you preach, gotta go man. through the ugly parts. You gotta go through the rough <laughs> parts. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you think you finna get to a situation where the man say, "Hey, this is my five year plan. Hey, I got this house. I got this car. I got this. I dress like this. Hey, what's your favorite wardrobe you want to wear? You think you finna walk into a situation like that? You're gonna be single all your life. Come on. Because it's 2024, mm. and that ain't really happening. And if a dude got money like that, just being real. Is he looking for you? Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hold on, man. But did y'all hear the, the analogy of the blender, though? That was that was bro. I just I look at that kind of stuff and I see the emotion, I see the audience, I see the room, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, <laughs> but it's just like, come on, bro. Yeah, that's it's just, real. I, man. I, I yeah. felt the same way when I heard it too, as well. And I, I feel like, and I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it. I feel like this is what the church is doing so good right now, making everybody feel good. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But we're we not, we're not, we're not keeping it real. We're not mm -hmm. speaking the word of God like we should be speaking it. Oh, everything she said, yeah, like to piggyback on what you're talking about, it sounds good, but that's mm -hmm. usually not everybody's reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you want a real marriage, it's gonna take work. Yeah. So it might it might start off good. It might it might start off so good, but it takes work. It takes work. Yeah. Okay. So um, I I definitely appreciated um, what she said, especially towards the end. I think everything she said about needing a man that's not looking around. That even if Beyonce walks in the room, he's only focused on you. Somebody that's not cheating on you. That's that's uh, making you feel mm -hmm. safe in your relationship. That's a hundred percent correct. I think the rub, and I think where I think men and women are having tension is over. Do you have it all figured out from the very beginning? Yeah. What I believe you need to look for, young ladies that are that are single that are looking. What matters the most is does that person really love Jesus? Mm -hmm. Facts. Are they really committed to Him? And are they walking out their love for Jesus? If they are, then all that stuff should be wrapped up in that. And I think if, if we focus too much on the the material possessions and the, yeah. and the, I have this this five you know twenty point plan laid out already, he may get that year five, year seven, year ten, whatever. But what's most important, and don't overlook this, no matter if he has the five year plan or not. He should have some sort of purpose as far as I know I want to do something for God. I want to make an impact in the world. He may not know what it is yet, but he should desire it, yeah. right? But above and above anything else is that man needs to be legitimately saved. There's too many people out here that look like they're Christians. Mm -hmm. They got the suits on. They, they spit the game. They know how to talk Jesus, Jesus, Jesus to you. But they are not saved. You got. You have. A, you have to have an ear for it. There's when when you know like uh, like uh, you know as um, God says the sheep they hear my voice and they know my voice. You can hear when you when when that person knows your father. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When somebody comes up to you, it's like, yo, I'm your cousin. I, I know so-and-so. You don't know so-and-so. Right. Like, you, you can hear it. Right. You got to listen for if, if If this is a young man that you're interested in, he should be, it should be clear as day that no matter what happens to him, no matter what situation he's currently in, he is in love with Jesus, like 100%. There's no weird, oh, yeah, I'm in love with Jesus, but I, I, I read my horoscope every day. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with Jesus, but I, 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 I go to the strip club. I'm in love with Jesus, but, but, but he should be 100% committed to his relationship with God. All that other stuff, if he is, all that other stuff will be revealed to him. Jesus will, will give him those things that you're right, desiring. Right. That's the most important part. It's a ministry good. pimps out here too, like you said. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, lots of them. It's oh, a ministry yeah. pimps out here. And I look at that like it's clickbait, right? Like I have a friend I think who would definitely click in and try to like you know check her out and see where what she's really about. Um, I feel like in a situation like that, you have people who are trying to appeal to uh, a particular uh, audience. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that goes viral, she's going to get the wrong type of attention, right? Mm -hmm. I think I think it's going to happen. I think mm -hmm. she's going to get a lot of wolves, you know, coming into her DMs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, I don't want, and this is not against her. I think she was speaking from a pure heart. This mm -hmm. is, this, mm -hmm. This is what uh, uh, women desire, mm -hmm. right? And and there's nothing wrong with her desire, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's just the beginning part about having the whole thing laid out uh, in advance. 
um, if they have it all laid out in advance, they may already not need you. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if they if they if they've already figured it all out in there. If you're looking for somebody who has already hit their purpose and they've already got all the businesses and all that, they 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 may not be looking your direction in the first place. You have to be willing to say, I see where you're going, even if it isn't all worked out yet. I see you. There's something special about you. I see God's hand on your life. I'm going to be there and, and with you on the journey. Yeah. Yeah. As you figure it out. That's that's important. Yeah, that, means as well. yeah. that means a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. If you don't want to get with me unless I got everything all together, it's yeah. like yeah. I mean, I can't be a bum. I get that, you know. So I <laughs> yeah, gotta yeah, have yeah. some. Dir- I gotta have some direction, some yeah. guidance. I gotta right. have that relationship with the Lord, kind of a general idea what my calling or purpose what is is in my life. But you know, as a as a helpmate, you know, what I'm saying somebody who's gonna be on the journey with me, you should be able to look and see. Okay, he has this going. I can see where I can help him in this area. We can come together. You know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. with the gift that God has given me and what God has given him, we can come together and make this work. But if I gotta have all that together, you just wanna hop in and ride. What, what you helping? You know what I'm saying? You ain't helping. You will help me. You ride me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, but again, I, I I love I love what she said. I'm glad she said oh. it because it, it's important to express your desire. And we could do a whole rant about what God's desires as well. But I think where they meet, there needs to be a lot of grace and a lot of you need to see a vision before it actually happens. 